Now let's look at how do we calculate area of a composite shape. A composite shape is the shape that has multiple shapes in one. Now, this example, we're going to be calculating the area of a shaded part of this shape. If we look closely at this shape, there are two things <coughs> on this shape. There is the circle, and inside the circle, there is a rectangle. And what else we were told is <coughs> the inside the circle or inside the rectangle, there is this line here, which is the radius of this circle. It's five centimeters. And we are told this is the midpoint. We are told also that the rectangle has this length and this width of three centimeters. So now, in order for us to calculate only the shaded area, it means we have to calculate the area of a circle and then the area of the triangle, the rectangle, and take away the area of a rectangle from the area of a circle so that we are only left with the shaded area. How do we do that? Okay. The first part is to calculate the area of a circle. We know that the formula to calculate the area of a circle is pi r squared. Remember what I said? The diameter of this circle is 5 centimeter, but we know that the diameter, the radius, the diameter is 2 times the radius. The diameter is 2 times the radius. Or we can say the radius is diameter over 2. So if the radius is diameter over 2, we take 5 centimeter, we divide it by 2, we get 2.5 because it's half of that. Then we can substitute into the formula. And once we have substituted, remember the pi, we use the button on the calculator. If you're using a financial calculator, you're going to do second function and go find where that pi sign is. It's written in orange. <coughs> and the area of a circle is 19.64 centimeters squared. Now we need to calculate the area of a rectangle. The wide part. To calculate the area of a rectangle, we use length times width, and we know that the length is 4 cm and the width is 3 cm, and 4 times 3 is 12 cm cubed. Now we have the circle and the rectangle. We need to take away the circle from we need to take away the rectangle from the circle. It means so that we are left with the shaded part. To do that, we're going to minus the area of a circle minus the area of a rectangle. Therefore, it means the area of the shaded part is only 7,64 centimeters squared. Thank you.